Hello friends. So I want to share some real with you today because I think we all need some more real. This rainbow business, don't worry. It's just from my door. It's not a filter or something weird. Anyways, um, so today, you know, I slept in. I actually didn't do my entire morning routine, which probably is part of my problem today, but I am starting phase two of my workouts. So this is day 27 and I'm feeling, if I'm very honest with you, I'm feeling very unhappy in my own skin right now. It's a weird season. I think women, we just have these it's hormonal, it's just life, whatever. It's not always rainbows and sunshine. And I've been training to live a good life, not just to have a certain kind of body type, right? But we still are humans and we still have those struggles and real life shit that pops up. So today, pushing play on my workout. I had so many tech issues. My phone storage was full. My, um, my workouts were lagging. My podcast wouldn't load. Like I was so freaking frustrated and I allowed all of it to trigger me to the point of like, I screamed at the children to get off of their tech. Give me back my Wi-Fi. Uh, one of them may have woken up to me screaming the F word. See, you know, not perfect over here. This is real life. It's why I'm sharing it with you because I could have allowed all of that just to completely detonate my day and be like, forget it, this is too hard, this is too much work, like I'm being interrupted and nothing will, will work out and collect all of that as proof that this is too hard or I need to stop or move on with the next thing. But you know what, if I had done that, if I had allowed the day and all the freaking frustrating, frustrating real life tech stuff, like if I had allowed that to stop me, it really would have ruined my whole day. And why am I sharing this with you? I'm not sharing it for a virtual hug or a gold star or anything else. I'm sharing it with you because I used to be the kind of person where I watched everyone else and it looked so easy for them. And I would come up with all these excuses, most of them were legit, why I couldn't do it or I couldn't change my life or I couldn't transform my body or I couldn't find that time or I was gonna be interrupted. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm gonna call the freaking ambulance. That was who I used to be. Until one day I got so freaking tired of watching everyone else and coming up with all these reasons, all this proof why I couldn't do it. And I decided that the only one in charge of my journey was oh, me. What? Me. Me. So I took the freaking action. I did the hard, uncomfortable shit, and I leveled up my life every single day. And it's not perfect. I don't come on here to share my journey, to be all like, look at me. I've got my shit together. I don't. That's laundry that's been there for over a week. This is my like train rack of a workout area. It was a frustrating, hard day, but I reminded myself, and I'm reminding those of you who need to hear this, that it's not always rainbows and unicorns, despite the fact there's rainbows on me right now. There's not. It's, there's going to be lots of really hard days, and the stuff that you choose to do on the days where it's hard and frustrating, what you do when no one else is watching will define your transformation and your character. And so I could have quit. I could have been like, burn it all to the ground. I think I did shout that. I think I, I declared I was moving back to Arizona <laughs> once or twice, but... I just decided, you know what? This isn't working. I need to reassess. I need to realign and I need to refocus. So I closed out the app. I tried, I turned off my podcast. I was like, whatever. I don't need anyone else's positivity inside my head right now. I'm just going to do my best and I'm going to surrender the freaking rest. So if you're comparing your journey to someone else's, if you're coming up with all the reasons in any area of your life, a relationship, your fitness, your freaking finances, Whatever sad panda bullshit story you have right now, you can change the soundtrack of your mind, but it's up to you. It's no one else's responsibility. It's no one else's job. It's yours. And when you flip the script on that and you change your mantra and the stuff you were telling yourself, that is when you find your freaking freedom and you find your freaking power and you take the action to be your own damn superhero. So today, the today's workout sucked ass. Day 27 was a struggle bus. Say all the bad words, burn it all to the ground. But you know what? Every single day matters. Every single day moves me closer to my goal of being a better, healthier, happier, saner version of myself. And some days are hard and some days I don't want to. And a lot of days are really freaking unsexy. But I take the action because my best self is worth it. And all the things I choose to do are influencing my children, which is a really important motivator for me. So... Just sharing that with those of you who think it's all freaking sunshine and rainbows and unicorn poop. It's not. It's a freaking choice. You either choose you or you choose victimhood. Which will you choose today? I hope that you do the thing you know you need to do in whatever area of your life. If it's a relationship, finances, fitness, nutrition, 
I don't know, toxic relationship. Maybe you're the toxic person. Maybe you take ownership of your own freaking journey. You stop riding that struggle bus and blaming everyone else. I don't know. You know, though. So sharing my reel, I went ahead. I finished my workout. It took me two hours, what should have taken me 56 minutes, but I did it. And I'm going to check the box and I'm going to surrender the fact that it wasn't perfect and it wasn't my best. I asked my children for forgiveness for screaming all the bad words. <laughs> And I granted it to me. This is real life, you guys. Stop comparing your journey to anyone else's. Stop using other people as the benchmark for who you need to become or the path you should be on. Take the freaking action. Be your own superhero. And do the thing you know you need to do.